Petty and Tom Sparry here, live from Joondalup. Just going to answer a few questions today, so uh, yeah, send them through. Can you guys hear us? Uh, from Georgia, what has been your favourite thing to do in the Joondalup hub? Uh, hope you're going well, Georgia. Um, it's pretty nice over here at the moment. We've got uh, it's pretty good facilities. So we've got a pool here, um, tennis court um, around the joint. So yeah, we've been, been keeping pretty busy, going for swim, do a bit of recovery. Um, and also I've got my PlayStation here as well. So I uh, spend a little bit of time on that as well. So it's uh, yeah, been pretty entertaining and they've looked after us pretty well. Uh, my favourite things would be pretty similar to Spaz. Uh, I love love getting out of the sun. Nice pasty ginger. Loves loves being in the sun. So I've um, got the sunscreen in me in me uh, room that I've been lathering on myself. Um, but yeah, we got the basketball court, tennis court down there. So um, yeah. Again, this one. Judith, do you have any mentors among your fellow players? Yeah, I do. Um, obviously, I play down the back line with Jake Cleaver and Stephen May. Um, so they're probably my two biggest mentors at the club. Um, good players. Yes, very good players. So, um, yeah, they'd be probably my two. Uh, yeah, obviously, got a bit of a star started midfield as well. So, uh, big Maxi Gorn, the Ruck, Clary, Track, Vines. Uh, you name it, there's a whole bunch of stars in there. So, I mean, if I can be yeah, just learning off those guys all the time, I, you know, it will hold me in pretty good stead, I think. So, yeah, you, you name anyone in the midfield and, um, yeah, you can definitely learn something from, from each of them. Who's the funniest person in the team? Uh, a little bit subjective, I think, but I think, I think Track's pretty funny. Some of the stuff he says and it's... Uh, a little bit sporadic. You don't really know what's going to come out of his mouth sometimes. So I think that element of surprise is uh, a humour that I really like. So I think he's, uh, he's a pretty funny guy. I'm going to go a bit left field. I'm going to say Rick Lever. Yeah, he's <laughs> some of funny. His, some well. of his dad jokes are just <laughs> unbelievable. Like He's just a goose. Yeah. <laughs> he's, pretty, yeah, he's, a, he's a classic, classic dad. <laughs> From AJ... What team did you support growing up? Um, I was Carlton, so I always liked Chris Judd, so that's why I followed Carlton. Uh, I was an Adelaide Crows man, simply just because that's where I grew up. But um, yeah, I also loved the way Rory Sloan went about his business. So yeah, massive, massive Crows supporter. Carlton? Yeah, why? Just because of Juddy. Juddy. Yeah. Juddy was my man. Uh, who's got the weirdest hobby at the club? Uh, right now, probably Jake Lever. I haven't seen him stop walking for the last three days. Um, he's come past my room about 50 times, I reckon. So, not a strange hobby, but he's just absolutely nailing it at the moment. So, he should get pretty sick of it, I reckon, soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm agreeing <laughs> with you. Just yell abuse at him when he, when he walks past. It honestly makes my day sometimes. Sometimes you yeah. can uh, get the stopwatch out and... Get his split times as he walks around the hub is pretty funny, so that's something I like doing as well. Some Caden, um, what's your second favourite sport? Um, it's probably be basketball, I reckon. I'm, I'm sort of into I reckon the that'd NBA. be a lot of people's yeah. favourite basketball. We get a pretty good following basketball at the club. Yeah. Uh, I reckon I'd probably lean towards more tennis. I reckon. Grew up playing a bit of tennis. Don't mind having a hit every now and again. So. Yeah, I really enjoy going out and having a hit. I think it's, uh, it's, it's uh, great fun. Uh, favorite game is favorite game of the season from Lockie. 
Um, I reckon the weekend just going past. I think for me, playing my first final in home was pretty special. So, um, yeah, that comes in at first, but close second, obviously, the Geelong game was amazing as well. You could almost you couldn't split them. Yeah, I'm going Geelong game. Maxi gone after the sign was, yeah, was, was massive. Yeah, yeah, can't beat it. Vic, what is it like being in the back line with vocal players like Maisie? Uh, yeah, um, Maisie is unbelievable in the back line. Um, I'm surprised like you can hear him sometimes with, when you've got 60,000 people in the crowd. Um, he's just loud and he sets you up. Um, so easy to play with. Um, yeah, yeah you, can even, you can hear him from the midfield as well. So you can only <laughs> imagine what it's like for all the defenders back there again getting yelled at but he's uh he's a great leader of our club so um you definitely need someone like that in the back line along with rick i think he's pretty loud as well you yeah. can always hear him so yeah. yeah they're both great leaders that uh yeah hold us in good stead when we play what do you do for fun outside of footy um from michaela oh, i wouldn't say it's too much fun but i've got a bit of study that i'm doing at the moment um Bit of poker as well with, with a few mates just to kill a bit of time is fun. Um, and then, yeah, just a generic bit of PlayStation and stuff like that. Golf when, we, when we're allowed to. So, uh, yeah, they're pretty cliche activities, but, yeah, I enjoy them. Yeah, I'm very similar to Spaz. Um, obviously, I, I'm not actually studying at the moment, so um, I don't have any of that to do. But, um, yeah, poker, tennis, basketball, um, yeah. You're on here. Riley, favorite favorite music to listen to? Um, I'm from Country SA, so I like a bit of country music. A um, bit of Luke Combs or Luke Bryan. Wouldn't um, have a clue of who those <laughs> those artists are. Um, I'm probably leaning towards the, uh, the hip hop side of things and a bit of house music as well. So um, almost the complete opposite to Petty there. Who is your closest teammate at the club from Trav? Um, for mine would probably be James Jordan or Aaron Nitschke. Uh, pretty easy to say, seeing as though I live with them, see them all the time, um, got drafted with both of them as well. So have spent a lot of time together with those boys, um, get along with them both very well, um, have very similar hobbies and, and need as a, a uh, fellow South Australian as well. Uh, yeah, mine would probably be Cade Chandler. Um, I grew up three hours away from him in the country SA, so I've known him since I was 12 or 13. And then my um, other two would be probably Clayton Bowser and uh, Source, um, being the other fellow rangers in the in the team. So um, we're we stick together. Pretty close group there. Yeah. What's your nickname, Harry? From Sky. Um, my name is Pets Petty. Petwa. Yeah, Petwa, yeah. A bit of everything. <laughs> just, uh, just off the back of the nickname, but uh, yeah, mine's off my, uh, my last name as well. I just get called Spaz. Uh, it's the only one I've got really, so there's not much else Tomo. going on. Tomo? Oh, you get Tomo a bit. Humsy gives me Tomo a little bit. I don't know why he started that one, but he's the only one that calls me that. Oh, and Fridge occasionally from Trapping, <laughs> but um, that's all. What do I bench press? Wow, from go. David, is that Dave Regan? Um, I bench press, I think I got one at 110. Oh. Day. The big fella here probably bench press a bit more. Uh, 115 for one. There, you so, go. there we go. What else we got? Got the golf handicaps. Um, I actually don't have a handicap. I don't have one either. <laughs> I'm more, I, We're pretty rubbish, I, I reckon. I haven't played enough to get one, I don't think. I think that's how it works. I don't even know how it works. So. Yeah. What's your favourite movie and why? Jesus. Uh, for me, I think probably Seven with Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman. I think that's a yeah, pretty good movie. A movie I've liked for a long time now. I've seen it a few times. Uh, I really like those mystery thriller sort of movies. So yeah, I really enjoy that one. Uh, mine's probably White House Down. It's yeah. just just an unbelievable movie. <laughs> um, yeah, saving the president. Like you can't get much better than it's that. Pretty, pretty generic, isn't it? Yeah. 
Who is the quickest over 100 meters? Uh, Hunty? Yeah, I reckon. Although, I reckon Toby Bedford would be up there too. He's pretty quick. I don't know who has the top, fastest top speed, actually. Uh, Ed Langdon's pretty quick. For, he doesn't look as quick, but he, he is pretty he quick. He does scoot along, doesn't he? And yeah. uh, what, what impact has what Adam impact Uze had? Has Adam Uze had? Uh, I think he's had a massive impact on the club as a whole and specifically on the midfielders uh, as, as the midline, midline coach. So um, I think, yeah, just the way he communicates with us, uh, he's very approachable, very knowledgeable as well. So I think um, all those attributes combine well together to give us a highly functioning uh, midfield group. And obviously he gets along well with the other lines as well. So he's, yeah, the full package there. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up. So uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Have a good rest of your day. Hopefully, see ya. Hopefully you're watching back in Melbourne. Uh, we miss you. Wish you could be here. So good work. Do you proud.